In this 10 minute video I show you how to create a new website, a new list, and a new form for that list which will let you use the address from a Google map on the new form and populate it into the address on your new list item. I recorded this video as practice for a presentation I'm giving this week but I thought you might enjoy it as well. Okay, I'm going to start the first demo from a new blank site I'm creating on my webpage, tomreasing.com. I'll just call this one MCM since I'm doing this for the MCM presentation. And I'm going to use the same permissions as the parent site, which is allowing anonymous public access. I'm not going to show it on the quick launch of the parent site. But I am going to show the top link bar from the parent site here. And then I'm also going to go in and open that same site in SharePoint Designer because we're going to use that for a couple of the things that we do. Okay, now as you can see on the blank site, it just creates a site with not so much in it. And the first thing we're going to do for the first demo is create a custom list. And I'm going to call it an address list. And the first thing I'll do on this list is go in and edit the title, call it name, and then create a few more columns. I'm going to create one for the street address. We're going to do the same thing with all of these fields. I'm just going to leave the defaults. They're all going to be single a single line of text. Create one column for the city name. One column for the state. And one column for the country. Now in this case, I'm specifically creating these columns with these names to match the jQuery in the content editor web part that I've already written. Um, I'm also going to go in here and for this list I'm going to stop inheriting the permissions and I'm going to give anonymous access to add items. So if you want to right now on your computer you can browse to, you can type this address into your computer, tomreasing.com slash mcm. Show you what that looks like, just like that. And click on the address list, and you could add a new item in there right now. But wait, I don't think you want to do that yet, because first, I'm going to make it a little easier for you to fill in those fields. And this is the heart of the first demo. So I'm going to go into the lists and libraries on my site, refresh that page since we added a list, and on the address list I'm going to add a new list form. And I'm going to call this new map form. And I'm going to set it as the default form for the new item form for this list so that when you press the new button, add a new item to this list in the browser like we saw back here, add a new item, it's now going to pop up our new new form that I just created. So right now it's just basically going to show the exact same items as we saw 
on the uh, that we created. It's just going to be the exact same as the regular as the regular new item form until we go in and modify the page. And I'm going to modify the page in the browser. So the way I'll do that is I will go to, well, there's two ways we can do it. The easy way is to go to preview in browser right here. It puts that whole address in, that whole web address in there for you. Lists address new map form.aspx. Now we're going to go to the page ribbon, edit the page, and add a content editor web part. We're going to modify the content editor web part to link to an HTML excerpt. HTML excerpt, I'm going to add a folder that folder that will show up when I create my first wiki page. And I'll call this MCM examples readme. In order to create a new wiki page, there must be a default wiki page library and a site assets library. And that's where I want to add my files. So, demo one. Just put a little bit there. Modify the new form for the address list. Now when we go to the libraries, you see that the creating a wiki page created two document libraries for us, Good. as you would expect. And I'm going to click on the site assets and go to my demo one folder on my computer and add that in there. Now I'm going to copy the link to, the, to that HTML excerpt and paste it in here. So now you can see that when I click on new item it's going to be shown a map on the page and when I click on the map it's going to let me make this a little bigger when I click on the map it's going to put a point there show us the address and fill it in on the address page so I will put John Doe as the name of the guy who lives there you can see we've got a point there. Now, you can go ahead and, like I said, do the same thing yourself. You can go to tomracing.com slash MCM, click on the address list, press new, and you can address, you can add addresses too. We could even scroll down to DC. 
and I know the address of a guy who lives there. Right here. Sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue. Barack Obama lives there. Now stick that one in there. Now what did we just do? How did we make a map show up on our new item form? And How did we fill that in in the address form?